What's the hype about boutique hotels in China? There's undoubtedly a surge in these curated boutique hotels all over China. From Sanya to Shanghai, the trending theme is the Greek inspired all white with blue contrast. No complaints on my end though, seeing that I can't travel to Greece at the moment, so I'll just create the Greece experience right here in China. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Yalong Bay. We have moved to yet another hotel here in Yalong Bay in Sanya. And today we're just shooting content in the hotel and then we're gonna go check out uh, Ho Hai Bay or Ho Hai Village. Uh, it's supposed to be a very quaint and very picturistic uh, village. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do behind the scenes or what because it's pretty much busy everyone's shooting content uh, the hotel provides uh, an on-site uh, photographer and pretty much yeah it's chill vibes and up there is a photographer trying to get that shot so that's how they do it photographer is all the way up there uh, CC is getting her dope ass shots I posted the footage from this photo shoot on my Instagram a while back. Listen, the content was giving. It had that thing. All the pictures were insanely gorgeous. So you can follow me on Instagram at riri underscore roundy for more updated content on my daily life in China.
the view of the hotel as you walk in. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. to get this footage because this hotel stays fully booked. And so the reception area is always busy with people checking in and checking out. Although it can get really busy, I felt like the staff had a very efficient system. Also, they speak very little to no English, but everyone was super helpful and the service was great. Our room was a garden suite and so we had this nice private backyard area with a private pool. We actually wanted to have a floating breakfast but um, that didn't happen. <laughs> One thing about Usizi, she is a freaking vibe. There's never a dull moment with her, ever. <laughs> Guys, we're about to have some seafood in our little backyard. Yo, it's a corporation pamban. So we ordered Chinese crab, oysters, and crayfish from Meituan, which is the equivalent of Uber Eats. The only thing I didn't like about this hotel is that they didn't have an on-site restaurant. So you either have to order food to be delivered there or go out to a restaurant to eat, which is not always convenient, especially for breakfast. After fooling around and relaxing in the hotel, we did end up leaving and spent most of the night in Hohai Bay. I also did get some evening b-rolls to show y'all how the hotel looks like at night. It is so gorgeous. Overall, I would give this hotel and entire experience a solid 4 out of 5. 
it truly exceeded my expectations i just wish they had a restaurant on the property so if you're interested in booking this hotel i will leave the link in the description box thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video